Got to do the throat clear. Absolutely. <laughs> You gotta clear it though, otherwise your voice is gonna sound all raspy. Hello everyone, it's me, Explosive Ramen, and as you probably heard, I'm also with Woogsy, and welcome back to Mist Online Uru Live. So in the last video, we the somehow most popular game in the world, <laughs> the most popular MMORPG. <laughs> world of Warcraft can only hope to compete. All right, anyways, in the last video, we completed Teladon in one fell swoop. Which was surprising. Well, we didn't complete it, but we got through. We can. We got through. We got all the journey clots. I consider going through the door, completing it. Yeah, pretty much. The, uh, or at the very least, getting the um, the totem. Right. But, uh, yeah, there is uh, pretty much only one thing left to discover, and uh, if you remember from when you finished Garrison, they were mentioning um, something about. Uh, Teladon and saying they didn't want people crawling over the inside of, uh, of uh, or, or the, the, they didn't want somebody back behind the scenes in uh, Garrison, um, so they said to uh, you know, look out for that link in Teladon. Don't let people access it because um, they didn't want people over there. So that's where you're trying to get. Now. Yeah. And you're not that far away from it, so. All right, cool. All right, hold on a second. I'm actually gonna try and uh, edit or or turn. Turn your voice up. Um, okay. Or at least I can certainly try. <laughs> yeah, I had to go to the Windows mixer, um, the sound mixer, and I turned. Oh, that's the game probably down, a very turned, good idea. Turn Discord up. That's a much better idea than what I had in mind. Oh yeah, that's super low. How about okay? Try it now. Yeah. All right. How about now? Does it do I sound pretty loud? Yeah. Yeah, it was at twenty six. That was why. All right. Hopefully that should be good. So hopefully you guys can hear Wugsy now. Mm -hmm. Testing one, two, three. All right. At least for me, I sound. At least for me, you sound pretty loud. I don't know about OBS. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll turn the audio for OBS up slightly. This is the worst idea. I should. I didn't even. Oh wow! I completely muted it by accident. Okay, that's great. <laughs> Luckily, it didn't say anything, so we're good. Pretty sure I accidentally muted like all last session too. So. <laughs> all right, cool. All right, that's that looks good. That looks perfect. Looks literally perfect. You're um, you're about five decibels below yellow, which should be okay. Sounds good. <clears throat> all right. Anyways, so finally we're going to talk about um, Douglas Sharper's journal, which I read over the week, which surprisingly, despite the fact that it was 52 pages long in-game, wasn't really that long at all. So from the from the best summary I can give is that, so Douglas is stating that Kodama and I can't remember the other person's name had a conflict of some sort. Now, and he's also, and of course, he mentions like talking about the Patriots going to the Super Bowl and stuff like that. But that's not too important right now. So then he talks about, you know, he's he's been really busy with, uh, with, you know, um, the DRC and of course watching football, <laughs> as we all know. And, and um, he says he he mentions Phil. The first sentence he mentions Phil in is. I'm a little ashamed I forgot about Phil. And then he says, I've been so busy that I guess I did, I guess he did slip my mind. And the very next entry is, oh my god, I might have been the one that caused Phil's death. Oh man. Well, <laughs> what a, what a twist. <laughs> but he's... Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, the takeaway I think should be uh, that both he and Phil are, have been on the journey of honor, or at least have uh, learned truths from Yisha that, uh, you know, um, kind of set them apart from the DRC's mission. You know, they, were, they ended up finding something deeper because of Yisha, at least. Which is kind of like what you're finding out now. I'm yeah. Sure you've noticed the parts where Douglas talks about the cages, you know. Yes, he says, yeah, he says, uh, I, should, I suppose I should go down to the slave cages or something like that. And talked about how he'd be ruining people's images of their precious dunny. 
you know? Yeah. So you can see he was kind of he kind of learned some things that uh, that uh, a lot of the people don't want to think about, you know. Or don't want anyone, yeah, let alone let, want people, other people to know. <laughs> right, right. So what he's he he talks about how he needs to. So now he's the rest of the book is basically him stressing out about Phil. The rest of the journal, and he talks about how he says he says he sees nightmares of Phil's supposed quote unquote death. Nobody knows if he's actually dead or not, but it's at this point I think we can assume that he is. Mm-hmm. But um, essentially, the whole shroom. The, the shroomy thing, mm-hmm. which I guess is the structure that we were in at the very beginning, essentially collapsed. Actually, shroomy is the... Uh, oh, yeah, the creature that you talked to me about. Right. The, the big, basically, the... He, he did mention, I don't remember him talking about the thing collapsing, but I guess that, that maybe is... Or it was, like, he, it was like there was one crack, and then Phil wasn't worried, and the second crack, then Phil started to panic, and then he reached for the relto, and it wasn't there because Douglas took it. Yeah, and then, or at least that's, that's what I remember from it. And then the last five entries are all in the same day, which is March 23rd, I believe, 2004. Or 2003. And it talks about, I need to turn something on, or I need to activate something. He says, I know it has something to do with the lights, I just don't know what. And then the second entry is G equals green, O equals orange, B equals blue. I can't remember what the th- I can't remember what the third entry was. I can't remember what the third or fourth entry was, but the last entry was was um couldn't find him. Oh well. I got a, I got other places to visit, other things to do. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. That was it. <laughs> I was like, "All right, well, good search." Actually, I don't rem- I don't remember him talking about the colors, but uh, I think I know a place where that uh those colors might be relevant. Yeah. Um, that's there's, uh, there's some lights that you can activate in your um uh in your neighborhood. Oh. Colors, so. Okay, cool. I think if I remember correctly there is some kind of puzzle there, but I don't remember. Alright, seven and a half minutes in and I finally moved. Nice. <laughs> Alright, so where do we go now? Oh, whoops. Yeah, you can go this way, we can go whichever way you want. Alright. So where do we need to go to actually to actually truly complete the sage? Yeah, you just need to look around a bit. You're not far from. Uh, I mean, you technically. So you're not completely. You just need to find how to get back to uh, Garrison from here, so you can finish yeah. that age. Oh yeah. What? Uh, just just so everyone's aware, Wugsy also told me what that thing was at the very end of the dock that I was messing around with earlier. That's a spore launcher. Yeah, it's, it's uh, something Douglas used to um, attract Shroomy, which if you give it a try, you maybe you'll be able to see. Uh, see Shroomy today. You pull it a few times. Oh. Oh, well, we're already down here. Yeah. I mean, yeah we're, uh, if you want to try it yourselves, go down the game. It's free. What are you doing? <laughs> the best price. Although, if you don't want to use your main email, use a se- create a second email if you don't have one already. Like me. <laughs> oh, my cat wants out. Anyways, sorry about that. Now I have to manually go and open the door for him because we actually, f- uh, we actually, f- my dad and I actually fixed our door because it wouldn't close. It wouldn't the the uh, the lock wouldn't latch, and we found we found out that it's probably because the house shifted a bit. Is it a newer house or an older house? Um, it's been around here for a decent amount of time, so I'd say yeah, it's probably shifted a bit. And yeah, whatever. Uh, okay, so where do we go now? I will say when you do find the link, um, then just remember to share it with me when you get to it. All right. So keep looking around. You'll find it. <clears throat> You're not far from it. Oh, is it in the? Is it the one of the cages you were talking about? Oh no, you've already been there. Oh okay. 
Uh, actually, no, that's, that's where Shroomy is. Yeah, we can go. Wouldn't want to spoil that for people who have, don't have the game. Come on. That leads you back to the beginning. Okay, right, right. You are correct, sir. Hmm. So, I'm not far from it right here. Right, that's, that's why I said go to the, um... Um, it is a tablet, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a, well, you'll figure out what kind, like, why there's Oh, what's this? That's, uh, remember that's the secret door that you opened? Right. Because uh, remember you climb up the ladder and it takes, it takes you, uh, down here. Yeah. Okay. It's in this room somewhere, I'm guessing. Make sure you check out all the nooks and crannies. Yeah. Behind the mushrooms. Oh, I can't even go under the ladder. All right. There it is. I found it. You can share it with me if you want. Hopefully the share thing will work this time. Um. I don't know why it doesn't work with uh, Douglas Sharp. But the share thing is the two handprints. Oh, I. That was what it was. That I was clicking on the wrong symbol. There you go. Thank you. Hopefully this works. Yep. I saw you go in. Alright, uh, come on buddy, get in there. Supposedly in the right spot. Alright. There you are. And you have a new sparkly. Oh, nice. And if you kind of look out the window there, we go. there you can kind of see where you are. I am in. I am inside the rotating uh, fortress. Yep. Looking if thing. Off, if you look at these bones over here, you're kind of in the cage. So. Oh, this is where the final journey cloth was. This one. Alright. You, you have one more after this. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah, I, I remember. Wait, no, I. Notice the shackles here. So it's basically the same situation. Oh, there's another collectible over here. I didn't even notice this. Oh wow. <laughs> this one gives you the um uh that one gives you the uh, the the lake I believe on your uh, Relto. Oh. Or nice. A little, um, little waterfall thing. Oh, cool. Maybe my favorite addition. Yeah. Little koi pond. Okay, there are several bones. So this is on this age the equivalent to the behind the scenes in Teladon. So. Yeah, the <laughs> the not so friendly stuff. Yeah. All right. I'm assuming I had to drop down here. Yeah. Well, I can't go over there, obviously. Yeah, and you got a window over here. Nice. Yeah. Alright. Oh. Where do I... Oh, I go over here. Oh. <laughs> I never even realized that, uh... It's at... The, um... The game itself is actually, um... It's not in a... That's funny. OBS is actually capturing it as it would have... If it were done in, like, 2004. Like, it, on a square format. Oh, yeah. On my screen, it's 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 actually sixteen by nine. <laughs> I wonder if it's just like a setting in OBS that you need to change to get it to go to the right aspect ratio. No, it actually looks more normal. <laughs> oh, okay. Than it than it would have, because I'm because on the um on my actual monitor that I'm playing on, it looks um completely oversized, <laughs> or, or it doesn't look oversized. It looks um like it looks like I'm walking through like a, an oval rather than a. Rather than actual like cylindrical tunnel. I'm gonna check these to see if there's any collectibles. Oh, hello! I found a ladder. We're doing it. Okay. Right. So here we are. So 
another drainage pipe right here. So I wonder, is there anything here? Surely, oh, there we go. I walked, I walked the wrong way around. Let me see. Yep. Sure did. All right. Well, uh, make sure. Store you from, from going in unless you've already gotten far enough in garrison, which is like getting your key. Ah. And finishing the 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 main power puzzle. Right. Okay. Makes sense. All right. Now... Oh, hello. What's this? Oh, I can't. It's another one of those key machines, but I don't think you can use this one. You'd be right about that, because it's... Uh, yep. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure this here is like a map of the lower level, which is that, like, you know that... Oh, yeah. Around. Right. You know how there's... Like, it's like a six-sided... Yeah, it's a... Six-sided hall. It's a hexagon. It's a hexagon on the inside. So we're on, like, the upper level. It's the Pentagon, but if the Pentagon was a hexagon shape. <laughs> <laughs> that may have just been the most abstract thing I ever said <laughs> this month. I love I love that's I love that kind of humor, like straightforward humor. It's like an anti meme. Yeah, basically. <laughs> like like in Jackbox, you know Quiplash? You ever play Quiplash? Oh yeah. It's one of the prompts was a uh, name of bad material to make a snowman out of, and I said and I just said anything other but snow anything other than snow. <laughs> that was the response I, I put a, in. I have a friend I send all sort of anti memes to because he loves them. Yeah. <laughs> now you're on the top of the main fortress. See if we can see the other fortress. Oh yeah. Can you see it? I mean, I'm sure if we stood around long enough, we could probably see it. Yeah. We might be too high up. Wait. Weird. Okay. All right. I'm gonna play with these things. Or er, can I even do that? No, I can't. All right. Or is there a journey cloth over here, and I just don't see it? You'll see it soon. Oh, so it is up here. Okay. Cool. Not really any other place to go. You've reached the end of the. You have a point. <laughs> Oh, there it is. It's right. You're standing right in front of it. <laughs> All right. There we go. Beaten it, but yet not beaten it yet. So, but you already know what to do next. So. Um. What do I do next? Uh. Do I just go back to Relto? Um. Or. I... I think I would recommend that because um, the door is not up here. That's oh yeah, you're right. You're right. You might actually remember where the door is because I think you have seen it. You just might not remember. Was it right at the? Was it at the beginning? I'm gonna go to the beginning of your age. Oh, I went back to Relto. I'm also probably gonna have to uh <coughs> excuse me. I'm also probably gonna have to go back to uh the very beginning as well. Cause, Cause I touched that last journey cloth. Oh my god. Wow, it's been really long. Uh let me see which book it was. <laughs> Not that one, that's that's the entrance to Kadish, which I don't wanna do. That's the one on the far left. It has it has a symbol of a book on it, which is the um the maintainer's guild symbol. Oh, it's red. That's a nexus. Wait, 
No, I mean, no, I mean it's on the. Oh right, 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 right. I I was looking at the complete opposite thing. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go back to the beginning of this. Oh. Look for that maintainer guild symbol, which is like all over this age. Oh, hold on. I think I heard. Yeah, he wants to get back in. One out, you want in. You want out, you want in. Stupid. Have you been following the Brexit thing at all? No. I, I don't even think I could if I tried. That thing just seems like... I there think... was a joke. There was a joke somebody made because you know how Britain has been hemming and hawing about like, like leaving the EU and staying in the EU, and it's been back and forth and back. Yeah. And forth. Somebody said they were gonna name their they wanted to name their cat Brexit because you know it's crying because it wants. To oh yeah. <laughs> when you open the door, it doesn't. It, 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 it just... Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. I thought that was particularly clever. That was yeah. That is great. <laughs> Okay. Uh oh, right here. Oh well, see ya, buddy. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll catch up with you. I don't know why there's always this graphical glitch where it has your um your legs. What's up? The graphical glitch where your legs are in the floor when you. I'm gonna jump off Damn. to the middle island. Uh, all right. Oh, I can just, I can just call it down. All right. Oh yeah, have you seen that uh, that clip of uh? Do you know who Danny Dyer is? I don't know him by name. No. I don't know him either, really. But <laughs> I really don't know what he does. He's a British celebrity, and he he was on a like a talk show with Piers Morgan, which is which I know Piers Morgan. Ugh. And he was pretty ugh, yeah. but uh, Danny Tiger called bricks. He called Brexit this massive riddle that nobody knows. And then he also called David Cameron a twat, <laughs> live on air. He called David Cameron a twat, and he won an award for doing that. I think it was like I think it was like the Scottish Television Award. I think it was like best moment on air, <laughs> which is just like beautiful. It's the, fair play to him, the balls of that, the balls to do that. <laughs> well, I don't know how you jumped over here, but uh, it looked like you basically just teleported. Yeah, that it looks like that sometimes on my screen too, like with, with you. I mean, there's some server side weirdness going on. I I recommend um, that you slap this guy over here. Oh yeah. yeah. You may be grateful that you did that later on. Definitely. Oh, wow, that's a little loud. Why is it 42? 42 volume. Wait, if I turn this up. I'll uh, be right back. Okay, cool. Alright, uh, what do I do now? Oh, I go over down here. Right? Oh, well, there might be a collectible here, anyways. I do not. Okay. And we're back. All right. You know what I was just thinking? Is that a? Uh, or actually, let's get on this thing first. This thing's coming right for us. We're going that way. Because uh, I don't think. Well, we're... it doesn't matter anyways. <laughs> well, it's a good thing you slapped that thing. Yeah. You know what would have been evil is that that little um, the little island that you're that you can look at that isn't connected to anything, which is right by the middle island. Here, I'll I'll show you. Okay. Yeah. Let me take a look. It's um, I'll be there in a minute. So this thing, that thing right there, you see it? Mm -hmm. What I'm looking at, 
What would you know? What would've been really evil is putting a collectible on that, and then you would, and then you wouldn't be able to, and then you wouldn't be able to get, jump back from it. Oh, that's actually where I'm supposed to go. Oh, I see it. I figured. I was like, why is that even there? I don't know if I can make it over here. Maybe if I walk jump. Nope. <laughs> Okay, well, you actually don't need me there, so you can get over there. I had the perfect view of that. Alright, I'm gonna walk off. That. Wow, I walked off and died immediately. Amazing. Yeah, see if you can get down to the, the door. Alright. I'm gonna waste my time running around uh, since I don't need to go there, only you need to go in there. Fair enough. But I'll meet you up. Um, I'll meet you up at your neighborhood once you're done with that. All right, cool. Oh, and also, though, uh, I was talking about the how I'm using a different converter now because it solved my uh, my oversized video file problem. Turns out, with that video editor, you can also edit videos with it, or that the with the with any video converter, you can also. Um, and for those of you who don't know, any video converter is actually the name of the converter that I use. It's not. I'm not just saying you can do this with any video converter. No, it's literally the name of the program is any video converter. Actually, no, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll just meet you up at your editor here. Yeah. So, okay. So once you finish with that, uh, Carissa. All right. Okay. Well, yeah. This is this might take a bit. I would try um, just to do a run jump right to the end from the big one. Not don't try to get to that little island. Okay. Fair enough. Just do a run jump. Yeah. That That's probably what I should have done. <coughs> but um, with with the video converter that I use, you can actually edit videos before you convert them, which is really nice. That is good. Yeah, because if I can edit videos and uh, use that video converter at the same time, that's really gonna slice down on my uh, on my on the amount of space that I use. Regardless, I asked for a hard job on my birthday, but what's up? Oh my god. Oh my god, I barely... I landed on the edge and then slipped off. Oh, you slipped off? Yep. Okay, so I clearly gotta aim better than that. Freaking... I wasn't even counting. Fifth time's a charm. Hell yeah. We're 30 minutes in and we haven't even gone to a new age yet. Alright. <clears throat> also, another thing I noticed is that you can probably hear. I have this nervous tick, or I have this tick where, um, like, I'll play with my hair for some reason, which I guess is. Which I guess after I cut it short is another reason why I kept it short. Yeah, I have the same. I actually have the same. Thing. Yeah, but I realized you can probably hear that through, like, my headset mic. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now I'm here. <clears throat> Get in there. Alright, I went in. Alright, Isha, what do you got for me? You return again. Return to hear more. Return for a third pillar. It's an interesting cycle, this coming and going. Giving and taking. Returning is what you must do. For you have torn in half the very being of one of the least. You have heard their pain. Don't falter. Let me tell you of King Karath. Dare I speak ill of him? One of the great kings. But yet he was the maker of the proud. For it was his system of guilds that served as the foundation of power. And corruption. The powerful need control. Fortresses and garrisons to guard their power. And soon the guarding is yet another thing to be proud of. Layers within layers built to preserve their ages and their pride from the weak and least who might attack from without. And yet it is from within that most nations fall. And so the mighty garrisons of Denis now stand vacant. The 
The people of Dene didn't return easily. They only would take until all was taken from them in the Great Returning, the fall that destroyed them. Dene fell only a few hundred years ago. All of it was removed. Then my journey was similar. I could write things that no Dene had ever dreamed of. My writing smashed barriers held as absolutes for millennia. I could change things, I could move things. I could control things. I learned beyond my parents, I learned beyond all. I rode ages against any challengers, masters of the art, and they were beaten. I took all that I could hold. Only death can conquer pride so strong. For the Dene and for Yusha, it was death that moved me to return. All died. All but the least. The unproud. The Bavro considered themselves as dead already. And so they continued to watch Dene, always ready to give more away. And now they will return. Okay. <clears throat> uh, she's done. Okay. Got that third pillar then? Yeah, I, I actually had a hard time listening to it because I was. Large part, I was actually panicking about OBS because I saw that the, the uh, volume wasn't going up that much, and I went, oh no, people might not, might not be able to hear this. But um, she talked about. <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I didn't get much of what she said. So you can always uh, check it out later on your own video, right? That's fair, I guess. Yeah. That's, what I, that's how. That's the only way I can hear what she says because I have to actually wait until you post the video. Yeah. I don't remember off the top of my head. I don't have her speech memorized. Right? She said that she could smash barriers that that were held as absolutes for millennia. I I, I remember that line. I could change things. Everything else is pretty much a blur. And then I heard the least, and that was it. Yeah. And then they have come to return. Yeah. At the very end. I've, so apologies to anyone watching this for my... <laughs> for my slight ignorance. No worries. All shall be revealed in time, whether you pay attention to that or not. <laughs> for much. So I'm in your, uh... Oh. I'm used to solving this in the daytime, but uh, I can solve it at night. It's all, it's all good. Alright, cool. Uh, Alright, so it's the red book. Not fitting for once. Oh yeah, it is nighttime still. So Garrison was a maintainer's guild fortress. Um, <coughs> then you went to um, so what was the next one you went to? Kadish was made to protect Kadish's treasure. Teladon was a Dunny food age, and then this is being being that it's uh, has Edder before it, Edder meaning garden. It's right. A place where you can relax. Because it's uh, a garden, and uh, you can just uh, chill out here and enjoy yeah. it. So. <laughs> Looks more like a desert to me, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this part of it's a desert, for sure. Yeah. Oh, this part of it? There are a few plants, yeah. Okay. I definitely have to remember that there's a journey cloth, I think, on one of these pillars in the very center. But I can't get to it you for now. Do animation when I stand on this? Oh yeah, <laughs> your guy's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, you can feel the, uh, you can feel the breeze. <laughs> yeah. Like ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, have fun with this, uh, quote unquote, relaxing. Relax, <laughs> quote unquote, relaxing. More like maddening, maddening, sanity reducing. 
Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Man. There's a... I'm gonna have to turn my... I'm not. I'm gonna have to turn my volume up for Uru, cause uh, yeah, n I'm. I'm not sure if anyone can hear this. It's almost non-existent. Volume mixer. Uru live. Let's. Let's play a bit better. No wonder nobody could hear it. It was at 17. Let's set it right at 30. Okay, there we go. That's a bit better. <clears throat> okay. So there's vents all over the place. Yep. Oh, and we're at a dead end. Yep. I imagine nighttime might be a bit harder. Fair enough. Lord knows we need that in a desert. Yeah. Better than falling into the lava, I guess. <laughs> I think anything is better than falling into the lava. <laughs> so, mm. One of the people from Riven could come over and like throw one of those throw one of their daggers at me. Hit me right in the shoulder, and I'd still prefer that over falling into lava, because then I at least have a chance to survive. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, so far, I gotta admit, Wugzy, I have uh, no idea what the hell I'm supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, I know you'll uh, if you get uh, frustrated or uh, curious enough, you'll eventually. Right. The thing about these gardens, they're not really supposed to be like purpose for anything except for relaxing and just enjoying. Uh, yeah. Enjoying the view. So. I didn't miss a journey cloth to, anywhere, did you I? To, you have to. Uh, uh, you, uh, there is one that's a little hard to see, but you did spot one um, the first time you came here. Yeah. Um, which is across the way there. there yeah. Another one's a little harder to see, but I can show you where that is if you want. It was. It was, I can't. I can't get it though, it. right? Like. You'll probably. Uh, Eventually spot it anyway. Oh, okay. Um, so I don't even—I probably don't even need to like tell you. But just uh, as you're jumping on different surfaces, just look. Hold on, can I jump through here? No, I can't. All right. Where are you even? I'm at the top of the bridge thing. Oh, I don't see you. Oh no, I see you. Okay. One's a little. Or to whoa what whoa what what I hear? But heard. Yeah, it is a bit hard to see, isn't it? Is it these I want you to get mad things? No. All right. No, thankfully it's not that. But, uh, right here. No. Oh. It's a good thing you are trying that because I think there might be. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> I don't think that there's any other puzzles that do that, but there are a couple of head scratchy why that <laughs> <laughs> moments. <laughs> why that? Because cyan. <laughs> I think Path of the Shell is a little bit better than this path. Um, the, the first journey. Alright. There's no journey cloth here, right? In the little spiral staircase? No, it's not. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Always gonna be on, on the wall anyway, so just look at all the walls. Every surface that you can Oh no, I meant I meant uh on the walls in the corridor we were just going through. I don't know, can you even call it a corridor? <laughs> okay. Whoa, 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 what's this? Uh looks like I can go through there, but I can't. Yeah. It's interesting, it looks like there's like a tower on the other side of that. Hang on a minute, can I climb these? I think it's just a rock, just a rock formation. Uh -huh. It does look like a tower you can go into, there. like Orthanc from Lord of the Rings. Oh, cool. I tried to uh, 
climb the, the thorny branches. The thorny vines. Mm -hmm. Didn't work. Can I jump from there to there? Uh, Actually, you can jump from here. The path. Oh. Okay. So there was there wasn't a journey cloth where uh where we were right, besides the one that I saw on the uh. Uh, you'll see it eventually. I think it, there's a uh, there's one spot that's a little bit harder to uh, reach, but you can get there. Oh, okay, so we haven't been there yet. Good. Yeah. Oh wait, we're just back here. Yep. Yeah, you're not any burden new. It's just a shortcut to get across. Okay, can I jump from there to there is the question. That I don't know. I assume you can jump from here. here let me try. <laughs> yeah, oh. Can make it across. All right. So it just seems to be a loop. Mm -hmm. So yeah, now you just gotta find something to manipulate because obviously you're all we're all just looking around. So I'll check to see if there's anything you can. Um... The only real thing that I can. obviously there's nothing to solve if there's nothing to manipulate or change yeah is it something over here <clears throat> yeah I would, I would walk are you gonna like walk around in first person and then like hold your mouse over things to see if you can that's like, basically what I've been doing yeah yeah I would go you might even want to walk around to see get a closer look okay like look down at like the plants and things. Yeah. Or and then just like hold your mouse over it, like when you're basically standing right next to it, and then you might be able to find something that you can uh, mess with. Just don't run. Just walk and see if there's anything. Huh. Okay. Nope. Alright. I mean, this is literally pixel hunting. Or polygon hunting, I guess. Whatever you want to call it. It's not like pixel small. It's actually pretty sizable. You just gotta look around. Well, I looked at every plant here. Might not be a plant. You have a point. I wish it was a little. I actually wish it was kind of daytime now because you might be able to see things a little bit easier. Yeah. Oh well. Beggars can't be choosers. I mean, I can see a sparkly down there. Something that looks like it can be manipulated or changed. It's not, it's, uh, yeah, that's what you're going to want to uh, find. It's not really hidden. Okay. The thorns. Okay. Well, it wasn't thorns, though. I'm sure you already knew that. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. What if I just? No. Okay. I don't know why I've never noticed. What building up here with all the pipes coming out of it? Yeah, I I saw that and I was like, well, there's really nothing I could do about that. It's out of reach everywhere yeah, I go. I literally have never even seen, like looked at it. Like, oh, that's oh cool. shit! Yeah. Well, I just jumped all the way down. Oh no worries. A mistake. 
That's all right. You know what? I, I almost fell off the edge. <laughs> you know what I can do is just jump over here. Yep. It's not hard to get around. Thankfully. Yeah, there's I kind of like this age though, cause like, you know, not, not hard to figure out. There's, pr I mean, I mean, yeah, there's precious little you can do other than the thing you need to do. So I mean, <laughs> you're kind of forced to figure it True. out. True. There's not really any distractions like Kadish gives you. Yeah. Pretty much all it's all you see here. That's there's nothing like 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 a hidden lever or, or like a red herring or anything like that. It's pretty much just this. Yeah, that's always refreshing. <laughs> I mean I I see that thing down there, but I'm not sure if, if I can even I see that vent down there. You probably do a walk you probably could do a walk. Let me do it. Well, you said probably so. <laughs> oh, 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 I did. Yeah, walk. Oh, Hold on a second. Wait a minute. What about these things? I'll be back. Oh. Oh. Oh, did you did you die? I fell in the lava. I'll be back. Then. Yeah. Well, you didn't fall in the lava yet. You got teleported just in time. You can go on that platform though. Okay. Cool. A little walk jump from a little further away it works out. Okay. Oh. Oh no, that doesn't lead. That doesn't lead where I think it does. Let's get away from that. Okay, something that looks like it. You'll probably figure this one out probably immediately. Not Hold on a second, what's this pipe? pipe? Oh, never mind. That's, uh. Yeah. Yeah, that is nothing. And I'm here. Oh, hello. This pipe right here, that's what I was kind of suspicious about at first. Oh, yeah, that's one of those ones that go to that building. Yeah. I clicked on this earlier and it didn't do anything. Got betrayed like I have several times by the interface. So. <laughs> oh my good lord! All right, well. Oh. Yeah, you felt it. Uh, felt a little breeze. Okay. All right. So I guess we got to do this for all of them. Can we do this one down here? Uh. What do you mean? The one in the lava. Um, if you can make it, sure. Made it. Yeah, you've landed right on it. Yeah. Uh, what should I? I'll just try and jump across. I lagged there and I almost didn't make it. <sighs> that, that that's that annoys me. I, I I looked over that several times and I didn't see a single mark on it. Well, I guess we gotta overload the system with steam power. Make a, basically make a giant steam geyser. All right, and I'll get the one up at the top, like the very, very tippity top. Uh oh. Definitely overloaded it. So that is a success if that's what you're going for. <laughs> well, I think I know what I might. I think you know what you must do. Did the did anything down there get cleared? Uh, they all popped up like the the system became over the steam pressure overloaded and all of them opened up at the same time. Shit. So I have to leave one of them open. That could be that could be it. I mean, what else could it possibly be? Which one do you want to leave open, though? Probably the one next to the rocks that look like they could be broken, because I can see a pathway beyond that. Okay. 
So I'll, I'll leave that one open. I'll, I'll jump down and get this one. Okay, I'll get the lava one again. Thank you. Okay, good. You made it there. Alright, now to just make this gap. Oof. Expertly done. Okay. All right, I close the last one down here. I'm about to close this one here. Okay. <clears throat> this one's closed. So let's see what that other one's doing. Okay. It's not doing anything, it looks like. It's blowing pretty hard. Yeah. A lot of pressure. So maybe if we close that. Wonder what would happen. I'll do the honors. I'll be the guinea pig. Okay. Up they all opened again. That Yeah, that didn't that blatantly did not work. Okay. Is there one we're missing? Nope, you got them all. Huh. Well, yeah, that's, that's... All the ones that are accessible from here. That's true. So then what... What do you even do? What are you trying? I'm trying to get across. I'm trying to get to another area. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay, how would you think that that's done? Son of a bitch, I gotta get on it, don't I? What if it... What if I... What if I get on it and it launches me over? That could be the solution. Well, these things look like they only move laterally. They move a little bit. Going in the right direction with this. Do you want me to start closing some of these again? Uh, I guess, sure. Okay, what if we stand on some of them? I gotta come back, hang on. Oh, did you jump to the lava? Again. Damn. one at the top. Alright, I'll get the two down here. Oh, you already did the two down here. I'll do the yeah. last one. Maybe... I mean, I guess... Just close this one here. Oh, you can get on these while they're moving, okay. Obviously, closing all of them doesn't seem to work. Right. Don't close. Don't ever close all of them. So we got to keep one open. Yeah. Is just one open right now? Yes, it's that last one over there. Oh, here. So you're back to this one again. Okay. All right. So I can't close all of them. Can't close all of them. And look at how these are shaking here. Like. Yeah. I do see that. So. Let's get off of this one. Okay. Just so, just so that we have a fail safe, or not not a fail safe. Just just make sure it doesn't explode. Yeah, take a look at this. <sighs> Knew it. Oh, 
almost clear it. So now we gotta... Right. I'll close this one. Okay. There we go. Alright. So I just had to get on it. That's all. That was all. I just had to stand on top of it. That was all. Where? You're almost there. Oh, it's the sparky thing, right. That was actually what I noticed. Uh, what is that fish looking thing? Spooky. It's a ghost ray. It is, it looks like a ghost ray. <clears throat> sure? Uh, sure. We actually let me let me find a journey cloth here first. <laughs> Hopefully there's one here. There's gotta be, right? Could be. Oh no. Please. There's only one you've seen so far, I think. You haven't gotten it yet. Yeah, because I can't get to it. Or I be soft, my <laughs> Hey, Vsauce. Michael here. Yeah, I think it's really bad that it's nice to the Easier to miss details. Yeah. So was it wait, was there a uh, thing in there? A journey cloth? Uh I don't see one here. Okay, well it's probably not one. Probably isn't one there. There's a tablet on that rock, I see that. Oh my god, come on. You guys really aren't going to give me a, a thing? Is it on the back side of the things? No? So there's no journey cloth here. That's a bit sus. Alright, well, I guess there isn't actually a journey cloth here. <sighs> Alright. Well, I guess I'll share the book with you. We can just come back later. Okay. I mean, the puzzle's still set up for you to just pop across anyway. What's up? The puzzle's still set up for you to just come across anyway. Yeah, it's true. I just like the safety of a journey cloth. Oh, this one looks like it's daytime. Welcome to Erkimo. <coughs> okay. Another garden bridge. Where you can sit back, relax, and enjoy. Well, I mean, the stepping stones seem a bit more like a garden, but other than that, it's pretty, pretty, pretty rocky. Wow, you don't, you don't see this part of it. Very true. Oh yeah, yeah. This uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this is the. Is this the uh, the eight person? Nope. This is a completely different age you've never been in before. What? Oh wow. Okay. Well, I found my first journey cloth here, so that's good. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. It looks exa it looks almost exactly like this, believe it or not. Well, there's not a lot of places you can hide stuff here, is there? And this age is much bigger too. Oh, this age is much bigger. Okay. Welp. Oh, hold on. Someone's calling me. Oh, let me pause recording, actually. Alright, well, uh, I'm back. 
and I hear it raining. I said I'm back and I hear it raining. Actually, I might actually turn. That was just me crying because. No, I can see it raining in the age. Let me actually let me actually turn that down because that's actually really loud. Uh. To explain, uh, they were actually concerned about. Uh, they were. Uh, actually, I won't say anything. Now I only said that so that they won't get suspicious of me. <laughs> So, um, what's going on? Uh, no, they were just concerned about me talking to you. <laughs> that was all. Because, uh, they don't want me sharing information over the internet. They what now? They don't want me sharing information over the internet. Oh, that's a very good policy. Yeah. It is. They, they actually raised me pretty well. They didn't let me watch, didn't let me watch any form of, like, GTA, like like if I was if I was seen watching like a GTA stunt video and nothing else, they would and be like no, no. I remember they grounded me for a month because I had like a problem with swearing, but like a very big problem with swearing when I was a kid. I still do now, but. Well, I'm a linguist, so I mean, my yeah. approach to swearing is probably different than most people. Yeah, you use like Shakespearean swear words. <laughs> no, it's nothing to do with that. No, I just. Oh, no, just kidding. The only my my the philosophy of language is. Uh, is uh, yeah. So I think the the only reason why where, where did you go? I'm right behind you. <laughs> oh, okay. No worry. So like the only reason that swear words are swear words is because people, people believe they're swear words. Yeah. People believe they're swear words. Yeah, it's just like. That's called um, people... that's called something in sociology. I forgot what it was. Where it's like, um, people stop at a red light because they believe you're supposed to stop at a red light. Right. It's something, it's, it's basically... You can send that to a lot of things, like, national borders aren't real, I mean, they're only real because we've decided that that's what that is. Like, yeah. They don't actually really matter. Exactly. They only matter, they only matter in a political sense. Oh, wow. Yet again, more... Are these even spores? No, they're not. They're... They look like permanently lit fireflies. I don't know what they're doing out in the day, but... Oh yeah, we don't have that many uh, fireflies where I am. Because, um... Uh, fire ants probably ate them all. <laughs> fire ants... I think, I think it's like a combination of like fire ants, habitat destruction, and... Uh, something else, I don't know. I totally lost where you are. Oh, oh, I just went down the stairs, that was all. Okay, so let's see. Oh, these things are spitting out the fireflies. Or maybe they're spores that look like fireflies. I don't know. Hard to tell. It's pretty random moving for some spores. Oh, here we go. I have a journal right here. 132 sheets. Let me see how many. Two, four, six, eight. I think that they put them there. They put them in these journals when they translated the Donnie. They put them in the journals. Okay. Yeah, too long. I'll read it later. <laughs> TLDR. <laughs> Show my story. I gotta remember that. All right. Actually, you know what? I'll write it down. I don't think I even remember. What oh, I'll write it down. Probably an old Donnie story. Yeah. I'll just write it down. Keep it in. Keep it in mind for later. I have to look and see if there's anything that helps. Okay. Read Showmot Story. Yeah, but I basically had to explain to my parents that like you were a subscriber to my channel. <laughs> and that you were the basically the person who uh offered to uh to help guide me through this. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, cause, cause the thing is, I told him that you weren't in um, game club, which is the group, of, which is the group of friends that I was talking about, who we were gonna have game night with, because right. I was in game club in a uh, college, which I'm not gonna lie to you, was literally just an excuse for us to sit around and play video games. <laughs> that was it. Sounds like my kind of club. It was, it was barely even a formal club. Yeah. Barely. Yeah, who needs an excuse? 
Yeah. <laughs> but it but it was still it still counted as a club because it was on the list. It was all in one. My first college, I played like Halo Two like all the time. Yeah, I remember like I remember like uh, <clears throat> every time that I would go in and I would see them playing a fighting game, I would just ha endlessly harass them for it because I knew that that was like one of the only things they played. <laughs> I was like, huh, another fighting game? How curious! You literally had to peel me off of video games when I was younger. Yeah, dude, SSX three. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. SSX three was. Was my was my everything when I was younger? Back when I still had a GameCube. Actually, no, we do we still we do still have the GameCube. I was playing it not that long ago, actually. <laughs> well, I say not that long ago. It was like several months ago, at least. Um, if you want me to come with you, you can share it. Uh, yeah. Or yeah. I think you can also add me to this age too, as a guest. Okay. Well, I shared it with you. So, uh, yeah, there you go. That won't be a problem. If I share the book with you, you're automatically on the list, right? Oh, wow, we're right back here. No, I don't think I'm automatically on the list. Ah, okay. I'd... Yeah, you can add me to your editor chemo list either way. Anytime you want. Alright, cool. Alright, um, I do see this. I did see this. Uh, I don't know what exactly this is. I can't share it with you though. Uh, yeah, you can't share it with me, but yeah, that's you can go in that now or later. Doesn't matter. I'll go in that later. That takes you back to dummy. Keep true to my procrastination. Yeah. Oh, takes you back to dummy. Oh, well, then I don't have to even go there then. Okay, so the puzzle is set up. So what is it, first of all, what can I manipulate? We need to establish that first and foremost. And from the looks of it, not a lot. Yeah, I mean, with this age, it's a little bit of a special age because like, if you're looking for like a series of levers and a logic puzzle, yeah, this, you're not gonna, this age is not, you're the not problem gonna isn't, have a bad time. The problem isn't necessarily solving the puzzle, it's finding the puzzle in the first place. Exactly what I was gonna say. Like, yeah, finding the answer is not the trouble in this age. It's finding the question, finding the problem. Yeah. Like in this case, I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, like. And for what I know, it's definitely not down there. Cause that seems like. So just find out where you want to go, and then see if there's anything around that gives you a solution to go there. It's yeah. Not as much of a help that I can be, but. Oh wait a minute. Hold on. What's this? I'm not gonna say that this age is uh, easy. It just has a different, different problems. Half the time I gotta look in OBS because um, the monitor that I'm playing on is facing the, or it's not facing the window. It's um, it has this back to the window because I want to get at least some some sunlight in the room. <laughs> right. But uh, yeah, I think it's also like screwing up my vision, just a tiny bit. Not by much, though. There is some stuff over here, but like you can barely see it. Yeah, I can, uh... Just barely. Wait, where are you? I'm right here. Oh, you're behind the waterfall? I can't even... Oh, okay, I can't even see you. Yeah, but still have the time I'm having to look into OBS, because uh, the contrast is slightly... More. It's also a major problem that it's nighttime because, like, it's yeah, really hard to see. you can't see. Yeah. Oh, there is this thing too. This, this, um, here's one thing you can manipulate. I'll kick it. I, uh, I, like I like literally cannot even see you. Oh, you're still in the, I'll still, you you're still behind the waterfall. All right, I'll, I'll get I'll in. in the waterfall now. All right, all right. Now I gotta really keep track of my time because, uh. Oh, oh, here you go. Uh, you see what I'm yeah. There you go. Hmm.
What if I... I wouldn't bring it over here, though. Oh. It falls off the edge. I don't know if it can fall off the edge, but you don't want it to go over there. Right. Can I cover this thing with it? No, it just goes right through it. Not only can I not find the question, I can't even find, like, the destination. <laughs> So I don't even know where the question could be. Although I know it's not near the waterfall. I've established that. Yeah. If it was a little bit brighter here, if you come back over here. Oh, it's probably in there. You take a look in here. So like, it's like almost impossible to see because it's nighttime. But if you walk around enough over where I am, where do I am? Right. You'll notice that it is there is a door here, but it's pitch dark. Especially if you walk like, if you walk backwards, like in this place, you can at least see where the light is. Ah. Uh. You can see that there is a pathway, but it's like, even if it was daytime, it's pitch dark. Going up there. So. Right. So I gotta walk backwards, basically. Oh, hello. Uh oh, what happened? Oh, no way. I'm fine. You can just run around randomly and, like, get back out again. Yeah, I can't see anything. Yeah, so that is one problem. So how do I remedy that? That's a good question. Get a, get a ghost ray? I mean, does it light up by itself? It looks like it lights up by itself. Oh my god, I... It doesn't seem to be generating light. That's just me. I think I might actually be stuck. I mean, you if you run around in a circle, you'll eventually come back out again. Just like keep running to the left or the right, I think you'll eventually... Now you can always rel fill back. Look around. Oh, I think I see something there. I'm going towards it. All right, what the shit even? I'm gonna try using audio cues to get me out of here. Okay. Are you wearing headphones? Yes. And I can it, I can hear the. Oh my god! I see it. Ah! Oh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm. Whoa! What? Oh, I'm up here. Oh, you came. Oh, you made it all the way up there. Huh? All right. I've never made it up there. Oh, there's uh <sighs> Okay, let's see. Oh, I see a cave. I see another cave up here. It's pitch dark in there too. Yeah, well I can see a a, a single wall and that's it. Yeah. If it were daytime I probably would be able to see better. Well, let me see just how far this goes. I've literally never made it up there by myself in the pitch darkness. It's like way too hard to see in there. I was, I completely you just ran did it blind. Down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh, uh-oh, now I... Or, whoa.
Okay, so there's. It looks like there's a storeroom of some kind because I keep. I saw like a sh like a shadow of a basket. Yeah, I don't know. I can't find anything up there. I'm I'm back down. Yeah, way too dark. Okay, so time to see if we can fish ourselves a little ghost ray. Okay, get over here. Get over here. Doesn't seem like you can influence it. <laughs> Do we need a basket to catch it? Could try that. There's a few of them here. There's one right next door. Yeah, I see one. Oh no, but this one can it, this it one goes right through it. Oh, it went right through it. Yeah. All right. Well, that's off. Oh my God. I. I can confirm for you though that there is no flashlight <laughs> Yeah, I figured there were no flashlights. It would be nice. It definitely would be. There's nothing hidden here, is there? Uh what's this? Only the basket was hidden. I can see the, I can see a stone here or yeah, a shadow. There's like a stone and then there's like this like thing that looks like one of those like cigarette butt things where there's like rope wrapped around it. What? I don't see that. I'm uh, standing like right next to it. Next to all these torches. It's like these torches are here to like yeah. haunt you. Like ha ha ha, you don't have a match. What about what about a lighter? What's this thing? Is it, oh, that's what you're talking about. Okay. I don't think that it's a cigarette. Uh, like yeah, 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 I don't think it's that. That would be a very massive cigarette. <laughs> if that were the case. Lava? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going down there to get it though. You're yeah, I'm not. You, I'm not doing that either. <laughs> so it seems like we're at a standstill. <laughs> huh? This has cord wrapped around it. This this thing right here. Yep. The right one doesn't. But I'm assuming, like always, it doesn't do anything. Yep. Oh, that didn't work. All right. There's nothing. There is nothing. <laughs> There's this beautiful garden, though. Yeah, with bones in it. Even more beautiful garden. Very true. Very true. I don't know, man. <laughs> Should we just end this? If you want to end it, I mean, um, unless you want to look around uh, at her, at her chemo a little bit more. I guess we could do that. To, See, uh, make some observations because I mean, this, like I mentioned to you, I think on the previous occasion, it's going to really heavily rely on your. Um, Wait, on did I? Are you able to come into the same age with me? Uh, just shoot me an invite and I'll come. Fair enough. Better chemo, or no, uh, buddies. Mm -hmm. Better gear, uh, better chemo. Alright, I send it.
this one's uh, this one's just called Garden in the Nexus. <laughs> <laughs> call it at our chemo, it just Garden. Garden. I don't know. I've never seen that. A very movie. literal title. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go on ahead. Okay, I'm right behind you. Okay. Now what? So what should I do? So I gotta look for journey claws, obviously. Yep. Do they share journey claws between each other? Uh, in this case, yeah. Oh, so maybe the puzzle doesn't have anything to do with... I don't know, that's that's a pretty big stretch. <laughs> but, uh, it's possible, I guess. Is there a drain cloth here? I haven't, I haven't gone over here. I don't think, at least. What is this thing? What's this? Oh, there's a tablet behind here. Looks like it's just part of the neighborhood, though. Uh, yeah, this one is... Yeah, that's a balcony above the neighborhood. Okay. Good to know, good to know. Good to remember some of these because there's a thing at the uh, end of the game that um, you might want to know where some of these tablets are. Okay. <laughs> it's one of those like extra things, you know? Right, right. Or, like, you know, bonus I might as well just... Uh, oh, it's raining again, great. Tablets underlined. Uh, editor chemo behind floating thing. Good enough. Yeah, it's. Oh, this nice little bench. There's only one little floating thing here. It's oh great! Now it's harder to see. Yeah. <laughs> is this, is that a fidget spinner? <laughs> Are you behind me? Yeah, it's like, that looks that looks suspicious, like a fidget spinner. Yeah. Oh, finally, the thundering stopped. Good, we've had enough rain. Where I am, good lord! Like the past week, it's just been nothing but rain. Where do you live? Yeah. Also, just to make sure our stories line up. If for whatever reason my parents decide to just ask you directly. <laughs> Where I am, just say Central Time. That's it. That's all I literally know. Yeah, good. <laughs> Other than you're near where hurricanes are. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, just say. Yeah, just say Central Time. That's it. Just keep it like that. Somewhere in the Central Time Zone. Okay, nothing here helped. Please. Please. Oh, I can't... You were looking for a lever. I wasn't looking for a no, lever. Have... I know how to make one. I know, but it's still. It's just a garden, my dude. Gardens have levers in them. Some do, at least. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's no lever that will help you solve this. Well, I, can't, but, well, I clearly can't list down... I clearly can't list this down as a note because this is way too grainy and scratched to be visible. 
And I found only one journey cloth here. Uh, you'll find more stuff. <sighs> Just gotta look a little bit more. What about this? This seem important at all? There's a sun there. Looks like cave paintings to me. Cave paintings with the <laughs> with two fidget spinners on them. <laughs> All right, so I guess that shows that the ancient uh, ancients had true wisdom. Yep. They were smart enough to know about fidget spinners. <laughs> <laughs> There's, they could have predicted anything in the world, and out of all the things they could, <laughs> the invention of fidget spinners <laughs> ended up being that exact thing. Oh, what the, what is that? That looks like a, that is the fattest scorpion I've ever seen in my life. Like a what to you? Look up. Like the very top. Yeah. Looks like the fattest. Looks like a really fat scorpion. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's creepy. For sure. Yeah, he's not moving. He's just staying there. I would not want that on my leg. He's just swiping at something. Don't know what. Oh well, he looks like he's having a grand old time, so we'll leave him alone. Alright. <laughs> now to figure out what this game actually wants from me. It's like... What, 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 what is this thing in the middle, right here? I can't interact... It's a stone that you can enjoy, because that's why... That's what this uh, whole age is about. Relaxing garden to relax. This is a beautiful stone of enjoyment and peace. It has a symbol that matches some other places in the Dunny Age, so it's obviously a... a, a uh, it's obviously something... Um, something more. It's, something, it's obviously this is a Dunny Age. Yeah. Considering it has a Dunny name, it's obviously... A, Right. For dummies to enjoy their vacations. So, I mean, not that I'm telling you uh, you can enjoy a break from puzzle solving, but uh, you certainly could here. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's not any, like, typical puzzles you're thinking of. Nobody's trying to hide yeah. treasure here or. Uh, so there's nothing I can manipulate. Secrets or uh, a food making operation. It's literally just to enjoy and relax. Good. <laughs> you don't sound very relaxed yet. <laughs> no, because I'm stressed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't so, want you to get mad. <laughs> so there, there's. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's something I can manipulate here clearly. Besides the tablets and the well, I'm second guessing myself now that I said that. I'll tell you what, it's 401. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, Game Night with uh, Game Club is going to start in like. Uh, not not like an hour, it is going to start in an hour. Um, so maybe I'll just leave it here. Sure. Yeah, I'm looking forward to see what your video title is for this one. <laughs> Lack of Dicicle or something like that. What would you say? Lack of Dicicle. Laxadaisical? <laughs> Laxadaisical, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. And whatever uh, you decide it'll be. What a, yeah, just just come up with something completely unrelated to the video. Yeah. Like completely unrelated to Mist, completely unrelated to the video. Just, just like uh just like um I love nickel pack or something like that. <laughs> or something like um <laughs> um hot date with Yisha gone sexual or something. Like <laughs> what if I just put hey? Just like, just hey. The word head. Just, no, just hey. Just like in all lowercase, just hey. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I like that. Idea. Hey. That, yeah, that, that, you know what? That is exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> all right. Anyways. All right, well, I'll, I'll catch you next time. If you want to play tomorrow, I'm down. I'm available tomorrow, too. So. All right. We might, uh, well, I might be, I might be going on a...
Like that's also an option too, yeah. Yeah, up to you. I'm uh I'll keep my uh my stuff on so I can see if you're available. Alright. Well guys, that'll be it for this video. Uh thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video and you want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, and I'll see Wugsy in the next video as well. So, uh, see ya. Yep.